I grew up um, in Orange County, California in the 50s and 60s. Um, and some of the, um, so I voted for Reagan. Um, I voted for Bob Dole. I voted for George W. George H. W. Bush and George W. Bush. I uh, got involved in, in politics officially in 1980. I was um, finishing my lower division um, academic work at a um, community college and um, was, got involved with voting, uh, stu registering students on campus. I was a volunteer um, at the Republican National Committee. Um, I was there from June actually until after the election. My Republican orientation came from the, you know, Ronald Reagan days of, um, you know, we're strong, we're capable, we have a role to play in the world. When I look at him now and contrast him to what I see with Trump is that one, he understood the United, the role of the United States in the world and felt that that was a good thing and a positive thing and a force of good. Um, and I think what I see and troubled me from the very beginning with Trump is he did not see that, um, that he saw the United States as a chump, if you will, that we were being played by, you know, actors that had their own interests. That discipline and um, honor is completely undermined, in my mind, by so much of what the president does and how he talks about the military and the, the disregard he has for the discipline that comes from knowing someone has your back. Um, but what I think is absolutely most important is that we elect candidates at every level from the White House to the courthouse that are gonna re represent the values that are truly the values that we have grown up with. We are not, we are not a country of um, hateful people who say, you know, you're not welcome here. We have spent over 200 years trying to make that go away or to fix it and to address the, the injuries that that has caused. We are not making progress anymore. I think in my lifetime, I have thought we've always been moving forward in that regard. We are no longer doing that. And we are no longer doing that purposefully because our president is inciting the legitimacy of hate-based politics. And that is not American. That is absolutely not American.